Scientists have just made a liquid metal robot that they can melt and reform on command. While this does bring images of the Terminator to mind, this is actually an amazingly useful technology. And for the moment, it is not trying to kill us. Some of the applications of this technology range from drug delivery to circuit building in normally inaccessible locations. So how does this liquid metal robot work? Why do we want to use them? And what are the potential applications? Let's discuss it. So how did they make a liquid metal that they could use? It is actually not that difficult to find the liquid metal around room temperature. Most of us are familiar with mercury, but it does require some science to come up with a metal alloy that has a melting temperature that is near room temperature not toxic and can be controlled by magnetic fields. To achieve this, they took neodymium iron boron microparticles and embedded them into a series of different liquid metals, such as gallium. The exciting science is not the liquid metal itself, but the microparticles, which facilitate the metal being controlled with magnets. Using magnetic fields to move a magnet is not a novel idea, but it is extremely useful. The scientists demonstrated many basic movement types from jumping, moving, and rotating, both in solid and liquid form. Using this control, they were able to show that they could navigate their small metal objects through mazes and over complex terrains, which is a requirement for many of the applications of this technology that we will discuss soon. But before this, we should answer the question, how are they able to melt these little robots? After all, one of the applications for this technology is inside our bodies, which isn't really accessible for using a heat gun. Luckily though, magnets are extremely versatile. Rather than applying a static magnetic field, which slowly moves to drag the magnet around, we can apply a fast oscillating magnetic field, which causes the spins inside the magnet to rapidly rotate to match the magnetic field direction. This action generates heat, and if applied correctly, can heat the metal enough to melt it, which is great because we can perform this at a distance. This leads to a pretty amazing result, like this little guy escaping his prison, reforming using a mold, and then going on his merry way. Now, let's discuss applications. The first application is repairing or building circuits. Imagine a resistor breaks in a circuit board that is inside a delicate piece of equipment that you can't afford to open. Maybe it is on a spacecraft or deep underwater and we can't get there to do it by hand. Well, in comes our little metal savior. They can push new components to the correct position and through some self-sacrifice, they can become the solder to bind the circuit together, returning it to working order. The next application is smart assembly. Imagine you need to combine two objects together that aren't designed to go together. How could you do this while maintaining the strength of the connection? Well, one way would be to make a custom screw that could fit the connection. And here, the scientists have demonstrated that this liquid metal is capable of doing this. Once again, they move the metal to where they need it and then melt it to form the shape that they need. And this is actually remarkably strong with just two of these screws easily holding 10 kilograms. The final application is the removal of foreign objects inside of our body or drug delivery. Sometimes we need to remove something from someone something like a kidney stone. Well, by picking a metal that melts at a safe temperature to be inside of us, we can use this little metal to capture the object and then drag it out using magnets to control it. And likewise, drugs can be placed inside of the metal and then when it reaches the desired location, it can release the drugs through melting. This is a pretty interesting application but we might have to wait a while before we see this type of technology being used inside humans. There are many applications of science for technology that will help us all. Check out this video 
where I discuss how scientists have recently improved lightning rods by using lasers.